What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today and going over the role that Samara Weaving could have in the upcoming movie because Samara Weaving while we got a glimpse of her in the trailer we still know very little about her so I'm going to go over firstly what we know about her and what we saw in the trailer and kind of just go over a potential idea of what could be happening in the movie with her so in the trailer we see her in the alleyway apparently taking a phone call presumably from what we see very brief but what we know about her is coming from viewer non who revealed this a while back so again if you don't want any spoilers that are comparable to knowing that the grass is green or that you need oxygen or air to live you can click away this isn't that big of a deal samara weaving is apparently going to be portraying a blackmore university professor in the upcoming film now given that we don't really see her too much more throughout this trailer i'm going to assume one of two things either she's the killer or she is going to be one of the very early on victims in the in the uh in the movie now here's here's what i also want to talk about which is regarding the opening we know that there's going to be a tender date sequence going on of sorts this is also coming from viewer non so what if in the opening sequence you see samara weaving's character going on a date on halloween night for whatever reason she's not doing any partying or anything but she's going on a tinder date uh, now said tinder date could end up being one of her students who i'm going to speculate is going to be played by tony river Laurie because we see tony river Laurie dead in a bathtub in the trailer it seems the trailer that we got this morning seems to have shown tony river Laurie dead in a bathtub now here's what i'm thinking could go down we could be following Samar's character, this Blackmore University professor, in the opening as a focus, and she ends up getting a call from what, what, what I assume the trailer makes it seem is Ghostface, but maybe it's Tony, and she's going to meet up with Tony, who is her date. Uh, and this is, again, a student that she linked up with through Tinder. Uh, they exchanged phone numbers through Tinder, the student, however, was basically creating a fake profile. That's how she didn't know this initially was a student. But then they have a quick phone call while she's walking through her alley to wherever it is they're going on their date for. And she agrees to go out with this student, who again is Tony Revolori. Now, when they get there, something happens to Tony. Samara, who we again think will be a protagonist in this scenario, ends up being the antagonist. She ends up killing Tony. And I guess she's going to store him in a bathroom somewhere. And because if you again look at the trailer, it looks like Mindy comes across Tony's dead body. Why he's naked? Why they decided to take his clothes off? I don't know. <laughs> that's 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 up to that ghost face and why they did that, which in this case, again, would be Samara in this theory. Samara decided to take his clothes off and just store him in a bathroom. And Mindy seems to be coming across that dead body at some point later on in the movie. So if this indeed happens in the opening, that will be two things that catch us off guard. One, the person we're following ends up actually being Ghostface, or at least one of the ghost faces. And two, uh, Tony Revolori again dies as the opening victim. And and then we're already going into the rest of the movie knowing who one of the ghost face killers are. Because here's the other thing I would have happened in this opening. You don't know that Samara you don't you don't get to you don't get to at least just find out that samara is the only killer you get to also find out that she is working with others she can make a phone call to somebody who answered the phone using the ghost face voice changer and she could say something like it's done and then the ghost face on the phone can say like good job or something like that and that's our confirmation that there's multiple killers in this movie but as we move forward we won't know whether one one person is samara or if it's someone else i would think that if she is revealed early on they would save her of course through the movie all the way till the finale where she would ultimately die and then we find out who her partner is whether that's one two three four who knows i think that would be something very unique to see where you already know who one killer is very early on and then you get to see this person kind of maneuver their way throughout the rest of the movie as nobody knows who they are but we know who they are we also still don't know as much as we think we do because we only know one killer but we know that this one killer who again in my idea is samara weaving has 
partners and accomplices. Now, what would be Samara Weaving's motive? I've already seen the speculation in the past about this could be Liv McKenzie's sister who wants justice for her dead sister. I don't think it would be anything like that. This could be something simply just related to what's happening on campus at Blackmore and how it ties into something that maybe Sam or Tara has done in the past. Maybe Sam again has done something to wrong this professor. Uh, and the accomplices involved with said professor again this could be something related to sam's bad girl days because we know sam has had some from what it sounded like her tension between her and judy hicks in screen five she has a criminal record of sorts so again what if something happened during those bad girl days where she harmed somebody connected to this professor and also this professor now having an opportunity to get back at her is trying to do that they want to frame her for these upcoming killing sprees they also want to take advantage of this new conspiracy that's going around that says that she was the one responsible for the events of screen five and that and that amber and richie were innocent she wants to go out of her way to prove this theory to be correct because of what sam did to her family member or whoever it was that was a close person or relative of hers however sam might have harmed her during her bad girl days this will be samara's character's revenge now the accomplices they could simply just be along as accomplices that are probably either crazy stab fans that samara pulled also from the stab subreddit or just some other individuals who have an issue with sam or tara herself if tara has done something recently at blackmore university that we don't know about that but that we'll learn in the movie during the final act that is what I could see being a potential role for Samara Weaving. Now, chances are she's either, yes, A, going to be the killer or she's going to be the opening kill. I'm going to lean on the chance of her potentially being one of the killers uh, more than anything. And you could probably see her get revealed during the opening sequence after they initially stage it for you to think that uh, she's going to die because we see she could be the very first person you see on screen. And immediately what you're going to think is that she's going to die. You're going to think that because you've never had a movie in this franchise switch it up on you to the point where the first people you have seen actually don't end up being killed they end up being one of the killers that would be something that's never been done before again that would be something that's very fresh unique the person she would be killing in this instance again would be tony revelori's character who again would be a blackmore student who's just simply going on a date with his professor who he's always had a crush on but he catfished his way into this through tinder and after they decided to finally talk on the phone she found out it was one of her students they still go through with it but again she already knew it was him uh, he doesn't know this though, but we'll find this out as the movie progresses. But let me know what you guys think could be Samara Weaving's role in the movie down in the comment section below. Do you like the scenario I propose in this movie? Why or why not? What do you prefer to see happen with her in the movie? It doesn't seem she's going to be used that greatly, honestly. So all of this might just be wishful thinking. She could simply just be a disposable opening kill. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.